This question is from gate 2021, Mechanical Engineering Paper Set 1, question number 55. A cantilever beam of rectangular cross section is welded to a support by means of two fillet welds as shown in the figure. A vertical load of 2 kN acts at free end of the beam. Considering that the allowable shear stress in weld is 60 N per mm square, the minimum size or leg of the weld required is dash millimeters. Let's find out. So it's given that the force that is acting on one of the ends is 2 kN and the shear strength of the material used for the weld that is tau s is 60 newton per millimeter square we need to find the size of the weld size of the weld h is given as t divided by 0 0.707 where t is the base thickness of the weld we can first find out the cross sectional area that is going to resist the load so as per the figure given this blue region is going to resist the load so area will be 2 into 40 which is the depth of the beam because it is welded throughout so height of the weld is also 40 millimeter so the area will be 2 into 40 into the thickness because there is welding on two sides we have taken into 2 this is ATT now we need to find out the maximum shear on the beam in order to find out the size of the weld because the unknown H is T by 0 0.707 and once we find T we can find H. Finding out the maximum shear we have tau max will be equal to under root of. This is a uniaxial stress system that is the bending stress sigma B which is going to act in X direction is the uniaxial stress divided by 2 square of it plus tau square and tau is the shear force acting on the weld. We can find out both these components tau and sigma b. Tau simply can be given as force that is 2000 newton because it's 2 kilo newton divided by the area that resists it is ATT. So tau is nothing but 25 upon t and this is in megapascal because 40 is in millimeter and 2000 is in newton. So we have it as newton per millimeter square which is equivalent to megapascal. Now we will find the bending stress sigma b. Sigma b using the pure bending equation can be written as m into y by i. Moment m can be written as 2 kN into the distance 150 millimeter. So it will be 2000 into 150 newton millimeter into y will be nothing but half of the height of the weld which is 20 millimeter. So this will be 20 divided by Moment of inertia we will take only for the area that is resisting the load. So area that resists the load is weld cross section area and therefore I will be 2 into because there are two sides on which welding is done. So 2 into BD cube by 12. Here depth is 40 millimeter. So we can write 40 cube into T by 12. The dimension perpendicular to the axis of bending is 40 millimeters. We have to take cube of that dimension into T by 12. Gives us the second moment of area I. Now calculating this, we have sigma B as 562.5 by T. This is also in megapascal because we have made sure to convert all the units in Newton and millimeter. So the answer comes in megapascal. Putting this here, we have tau max is equal to under root of 562.5 divided by don't forget this 2 so we have 2t square plus 25 by t square so this gives us tau max is equal to 282.36 by t in the denominator we will get t square after solving and taking the square root we will take we will get t this should be less than or equal to the shear strength now taking the limiting condition that is equality we will have tau s will be equal to 282.36 by t and t will be therefore equal to 282.36 divided by the shear strength is 60. So thickness should be 4.7059 answer will be of course in millimeters but we need to find out size of the weld which is given by h equal to 4.7059 divided by 0 0.707 this is a point where there are high chances you can make a mistake so keep this in mind you don't have to miss the last step to find the size of the weld 
using T. So H comes out to be 6.656 in millimeters, which is almost equal to 6.7 millimeters because we are being asked to round it off to one decimal place. Let's go back and fill in this answer. Rounded off to one decimal place, the minimum size or the leg of the well required is 6.7 millimeters. To learn about design of weld in detail, you can refer to the NPTEL video, lecture 24, Design of Welded Joints 2. It's from the course Design of Machine Elements. The course is taught by Professor B. Mathi. He is from Department of Mechanical Engineering of IIT Kharagpur. I hope this solves your doubt. Thank you.